Yeah, yeah Pete, Pete, I know you, you gave the update on Rashad this morning on the radio, but just having to go through this again, just how's he handling this with everything he knows is coming up? Well, he he's an experienced guy at this, uh, you know, but he's still, it doesn't mean that his heart's not broken about playing football. Um, but he's going he's gonna to deal with it, you know, better than he did last time around just because he's got that experience. But that doesn't lessen the pain, you know, in, in missing it. Jen? So with Kenneth Walker taking over that role, in what way or the area that he's improved most in, and what does he still need to do to take another jump? Well, I, he's just he, he's just getting comfortable with the timing of hitting the line of scrimmage, uh, seeing the blocks at full speed. You know, he, he's he's just getting comfortable. He's going to get a lot better. He'll he'll just get more and more feel working with the guys. He hasn't had that many turns yet. Um, it's obvious that he can do it and he can hit it. You know, there's no question about that. But um, taking full advantage of all of the opportunities that come up, we're gonna that's gonna that's gonna take a little bit. But we, he's not at this point gonna have any time to, to keep, you know, kind of patiently waiting. <laughs> he's going, you know. So uh, um, this is this is a real great opportunity for him to to jump to the front, and see what he can do with it, and, and we're counting on him to do stuff in a big way. Corbin. Hey, Pete, obviously every year is a little bit different, but this is three straight years now the defense has needed at least five games to find its footing. As a coach, why do you think this keeps happening, and do you see patterns to these prolonged slumps to start the season? Um, I don't know about the patterns. I don't, I don't know that. Um, but there's when you go three years and it starts slow, then I guess you could look at that pattern, but I don't know how it goes uh, for us working forward, uh, we we just got to make our moves and get our get our you know the best guys in the right spots doing the right things uh, as as soon as possible. That we're 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 working at it. Um, I don't know why it's like that. You know, I I have no idea why it would it would start slow. Um, but uh, so we're dealing with it again. We know we're going to come out of it. Brady. Pete, sticking with the defense, what what signs do you see, if any, that you feel like you are nearing, you know, about to turn a corner on defense? Uh, there's the fact that we had uh, some issues with, you know, with the uh, the Wildcat deal, you know, that which is an unusual aspect with a very unusual player uh, makeup, you know, guy that can throw it and run it, not just a running back back there doing it. Um, it's a unique style of play that it's, we we won't see that again. Um, we didn't handle it as well as we need to, but uh, I'm not really concerned that you know that they're going to come out throwing the, the football with their running backs now. So I, I I think we're in a different setup now. So the uh, the base stuff, um, holding uh, really, I, th I felt like we held Kamara in, Kamara in check in the running game a little bit. You know, he averaged four yards and a little bit in a carry, um, but that wasn't what what killed us in this game. The, the thing that killed us was the was the Wildcat stuff. So um, you know, I just think we're going to get better at it as we move forward. Maz Vida. Yep. Hey, Pete. Yeah. I believe you've talked about the need for defenders to shed off blocks. And is that a technical, a physical, or recognition thing, or all of the above? Yeah, it's all, it's everything. It, it's it's really it's playing with good leverage, um, anticipation of the blocks and the schemes, and uh, and disengaging, you know, and getting off and, and making your plays with your partners. You know, we all we all need to work better at that. And uh, the fundamentals of playing a running game never go away. That's something that's a constant that you work on all year long and forever. And uh, you just got to keep you know, trying to get yourself right. These games help us. This is the best work that we get. And uh, you know, I'm hoping that we'll keep improving. Bob? <coughs> um, yeah, Pete, what can you tell us about uh, Tony Jones, who you just, uh, you just picked up and how he might fit into things? Um, this guy that made their team, you know, has been with them all year. Uh, to this point, and uh, he's strong, um, tough, uh, versatile guy. Catches the ball okay. Coming out of the backfield, um, we're looking for some, you know, for some immediate boost, uh, particularly in the depth. I, I like I like DJ Dallas playing football. He's had a great preseason for us. He'll play a lot more with Kenneth, um, and uh, you know, a couple weeks from now, we'll see Homer coming back out too. Um, so uh, Darwin Thompson will get a chance to help us too, possibly, you know, as we move forward. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, he's, had, he's been a really a good steady force with us. We've seen him a lot. Uh, but we're looking for depth right now and making sure that we can stay competitive, uh, you know, in practice and in preparation and all of that. So, so you do expect Travis Homer to be able to come back in a few weeks? Two weeks, yeah. 
And uh, any update on Al Woods? Um, he's still feeling a little bit today. Yeah, we, we'll go in real easy with him tomorrow. We'll see how he does. Um, just go day by day with him. Tim? Pete, I think you guys have scored 103 points in, in the last three games combined. Um, if you'd been told that and, and knowing that you only got two wins out of that, what would your level of frustration yeah. be about that? Well, I, yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. I mean, I, I would have thought that had been plenty of points to win to win all those games. Um, we have been scoring well. We've been scoring fast and, and been explosive and, you know, and, uh, you know, Gino has really taken advantage of understanding this system and working well with the every aspect of it, uh, from the checks, from the control of the line of scrimmage to what he's doing in the throwing game. And, of course, he's contributing in the running game as well. He's been a big part of that. Um, but he's got a good group around him. You know, he's got a really solid group. The guys up front have come through. The young tackles have come through. Um, he's got receivers and tight ends, and the backs have made their plays. So uh, it, it's just a, it's, it's, it's a really fast progressing group, and I'm hoping that we can keep making, uh, you know, making the plays and making the, the explosions that set the field position in order and all that kind of stuff as we're going. Um, pretty exciting part of our team. And then on a separate topic, um, there's the chance that you could have game four of the ALDS and, and you guys playing on, on Sunday. Has there been any conversation you've heard yet about – possible adjustments to your game time if needed uh if the baseball game is happening yeah they're they're, they're in conversations about that right now trying to figure that out and uh i know both sides are working at it so something will come i don't know the result of it yet jen offensively dk and tyler show up big time in the stats but does that group need to be more balanced or is that where the tight ends come in when you're just looking at receiving yards pass catchers no, I'm not worried about that at all. You know, Jen, I mean, that's just to have the flexibility. Um, you know, with we only had 49 plays in the game, and there was a lot of a, a lot of production out of that. The tight ends didn't get as as involved in this one as as they have been, but uh, that's not that we're not looking for them. They they did fine with what they got, but uh, there's not a mixture that we think is exactly perfect. We won't take what what they give us by the you know the concept of the play. Bob. Um, yeah, Pete, what, what did you think of uh, Ryan Neal and, and starting yesterday and sort of how the safeties kind of played played with him back there, being back there? I thought Ryan did a really good job. He was very active. Um, he had a, a whole array of opportunities to make. Um, he had some plays, you know, that, that weren't exactly right, but he, he did a really nice job, tackled well, hit well, uh, the, defended the pass well. He, he, he was, I thought he was really obvious, and I, I thought um, he gave us a boost. So um, I'm anxious to see him go back at it again. Um, Josh did a nice job in the, in the substitution stuff when he had his opportunities. Um, so um, I, I, I was really fired up about Ryan. I thought he did really well. Anything else? Thank you. See you.